Well, good evening, Basel fans. Kamusta, Magandanarao, wherever you may be watching in the world. Welcome to the Funabashi Arena. This is B-League Playoff Basketball, and I've got two words for you. Game three, as Chiba Jets winning last night, taking this series to the final outcome. The winner will move on to the semifinals to play either Shimane, Susanna Magic, or Alvac Tokyo. Well, game one was a two-point victory in which Yuki Togashi missing the final shot in which led to Dwayne Evans, along with Kerry Blackshear Jr. and Kai Soto, Kyrene, to leave with a victory. Game two, though, complete different story. Chiba Jets, they came ready to play as they shot immaculately from the perimeter. And what a game it was. Welcome, everybody, here to the live YouTube stream. I am your commentator, Josh Bett. There are your standings for the B-League basketball. Remember, the winner of this game will play Shimane Susano Magic or Alvac Tokyo in the semifinals. Well, shout out already to Anthony Alcazar, Magandan Arao, Kamusta Po, and Kamusta to Ma, as well as to RJ. Welcome again, my friend. We're all here for one reason B League Basketball, Chiba Jets, led by Yuki Tsugashi. Well, thank you to Eddie. Thank you for your kind words. And shout out to John Ray, as well as to everybody. Let us know where are you watching. There are the key matchups. Well, there is Satohara in game one. He was phenomenal for Hiroshima Dragonflies coming off the bench. And Kai Soto struggling yesterday, but the future is bright. Kai Soto, definitely the future of Gilas Pilipinas. Well, please let us know in the live chat, where are you watching? John Lloyd, welcome, my friend. And shout out to Anthony one more time. Here are the highlights from game two. John Mooney putting Kerry Blackshear Jr. into early foul trouble. Blackshear only having four points. Mooney with 14, shooting four for eight from the field with 10 rebounds, finishing with a double-double. Well, shout-out to Marlon Andres and Julius Maynard Vito as well. Greetings from the Philippines. Well, John Mooney had a good game, but this is a good pass by Kyrie Soto, finding Kerry Blackshear Jr., the chosen one, Kai Soto. The father who used to play for the NLX Row Warriors in the Philippine Basketball Association, the PBA. But Mooney, again, it was the foul trouble he put Kerry Blackshear that made it very difficult for Hiroshima Dragonflies. Well, shout out to JB watching from Oman as well. And to all of our fans, we got fans watching in Israel, in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and all over the world. And shout out to Reyes. Thank you for your kind words, my friend. As so we're going to get set to introduce the players for today's game. Now, of course, I know we have a lot of incredible Kababayans watching in this game. So wherever you are watching, Magandan Umaga, Magandan Arao, Magandan Tanghali, Magandan Hapan, or Magandan Gabi, wherever you are watching. But also let us know who is your favorite team. Are you supporting the Hiroshima Dragonflies or are you supporting Chiba Jets? Remember, Chiba setting a B-League record this year for 24 consecutive victories, and that's why it was a surprise defeat for them in Game 1. And the winner will take all in this game. Well, shout-out to Henry De La Cruz watching in New York. Welcome, my friend. And to Shane watching from the United Arab Emirates. We're going to leave you now with some entertainment here from the Chiba Jets Club. And what a phenomenal organization B-League Basketball has become over the past years. Really developing into one of the top-tier professional leagues in international basketball. Some of the greatest players, Japanese, Filipino, Americans, import players coming to this league to play. What a great league it's becoming. And shout-out to Andrew Rojas. Welcome, my friend. We're going to leave you now with some of the entertainment as we start to take a look at the players as they come in to introduce themselves. So bet with us for a moment, ladies and gentlemen.
We're going to start with the introduction of the Chiba Jets players and some of the key players you can look out for, the likes of Gavin Edwards, their center, championship experience already here in the B-League, but also Victor, also known as Vic Law, who did sustain a slight injury yesterday, taking an elbow to the face, and hopefully he'll be okay. But there is the man, the first ever million-dollar Japanese player, Yuki Togashi, won the B-League Championship in 2021 with Chiba Jets, defeating Utsunami Brex 2-1 in the final. Well, there is Shuta Hara. We just saw Gavin Edwards come out. We mentioned him already. Hara, a member of the Japanese national team, a high-flying shooter. And John Mooney, the man who finished with 14 points and 10 rebounds in the last game. Christopher Smith. And what a great shooter he is. He'll play small forward role, a slasher for this team. But my goodness gracious, this man can light it up from the perimeter. And there is John Patrick, the head coach. Remember, he was a player here in Japan. Head coach of Alvac Tokyo in 2006, and then embarked on a career, a decade of excellence in Germany, where he was the head coach of MRP Riesen Ludwigsburg, taking them to two FIBA Champions League Final Fours. Hiroshima Dragonflies, their players come out. There's Naoto Suji, one of their top shooters. Kerry Blackshear Jr., Ryo Teroshima, and the chosen one, Kaiju, Kairim, Kai Showtime Soto. Many fans tuning here on the live stream, supporting Kai. And I tell you what a bright future he has ahead of him. Only 21 years of age. Head coach of the Hiroshima Dragonflies, Nick Milling. Also a former player here in Japan. Also played professional basketball and coached in the Pro A LMB in France. But has since returned to Japan. Well, shout out to John Rick Espia. Watching from Zambales and Filipinas. We'll try to give you as many shouts as possible, but we'll only give shouts to people who give their names out, of course. Well, there's your starting lineups. Ryo Tirashima is going to match up with Yuki Tokashi. Shutahara now to Suji. Gavin Edwards up against Curry Blackshear Jr. John Mooney will be defending yet again Kai Soto. And Dwayne Evans will have the defensive duty of taking on Christopher Smith. Well, there was the last game, 98-69. to Hiroshima Dragonflies struggled on both ends of the floor. But that game's done. It's dusted. Nick Milling would have put a line under that game and focus onto this one. Two words, game three. You either win or you go home. Kai Soto will want to see the Shimane, Susanna Magic, or Alvac Tokyo in the next round, as would Yuki Tsugashi. Well, I'll say it again, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are, Magandan Umaga, Magandan Arao, Magandan Hapon, Magandan Tanghali, Magandan Gabi. Wherever you are watching, Kamusta! This is B-League Basketball. Let's get this party started. Well, shout out to Edif. If you kind words, and we're going to have Chiba with the first possession. Wow, it goes baseline. Turns it over. Good defense by Blackshear Jr., Flies want to get off to a good start. Terashima, mid-range, takes it. Von Iyama gets his own rebound. Suji tried to free. He'll fire. Can't get it. Soto with a big rebound. And this is where he's got to play big tonight. Get as many offensive boards as possible. Lachia Jr. looking for a gap. Soto pump picks. Pulls up in the mid-range. That's not a bad shot there by Coach Soto. And that's what you want to see from the young man. Believe in his jump shot. He can shoot the ball. He's got to get more looks in the mid-range. Now defensively, Dragonflies need to match up here with a three by Smith. That goes over the backboard. That's going to be an out-of-bounds violation. Again, going back to what I said about Kai Soto, he has to believe in his jump shot. This young man has a very good mid-range, but he's got to believe, and he's got to look for those shots. He's got to play with finesse, and not try to play bully basketball. Black Shield, we're going to throw this down to Evans. Good defense here. Hiroshima, off the backboard. Again, yeah, can't get it. Soto trying to go for the offensive rebound. Good hustle from Kyrie. D3 by Togashi. Takes it, fires it. And Yuki Togashi getting things going early on here from the perimeter. The man who leaves Japan in the backcourt. Black shit, he'll try it. Three. He'll take this one. And that's a good response by the Hiroshima Dragonflies. Black Shit Jr. last season playing for Galatasaray in the Turkish Basketball Super League. Still 
dumped this one down. Good defense again by Dragonflies, making the passes difficult. Find the more confidence, more assertive. Stop here in the way they want to stop. She the Jets, Black Shield. Kicks out, Evans wide open, fires it. Hits a back iron. And now Chiba Jets with a chance to get here on the fast break. Smith looks at his feet. Let's get behind the line. He takes it, rattles in and out, but Ryan Edwards, nobody cool box out on that play. And both teams just trying to fire as much as possible. Soto picks up a second rebound. And Kai Soto doing what he does best, protecting the rim, keeping Gavin Edwards. Soto, good hands on the basket. What a play by Kyrene! And that's much better by the young man. Playing more aggressive. Playing with the Pusso, as they say, back in Filipinas. Strong tempo from both these two teams. Playing with a lot of confidence, but again, trying to go for a lot from the perimeter. Terashima putting his hands in the cookie jar. Can he capitalize? But man, it's not going to take Yuki Togashi. What an isolation. going to try and bring this one out. Down to Evans. Evans pump fix, goes up. Yeah, no foul colds. Good defense by Smith. Hiroshima looking good here on defense, making it very tough for the Chiba Jets. So Gashi trying to go all the way. Goes into the floater. Back eye and can't get it, but Gavin Edwards, another offensive rebound. Tries to bully his way. Good defense. Well, that's solid rim protection by both Kai Soto and Kerry Blackshit. And let me tell you something now. Kai Soto is looking much better. Watch Soto under the basket. Surrounded by Blackshit Jr. and Soto. That's good rim protection. And they've got to play like that here for 40 minutes. Fatigue could be a factor. Both physical and mental. Remember, the third game they played. Moody goes back door. Strong play by John Moody. Defense just falling asleep early on there. Tying the game up. Five apiece. Well, many fans, again, I love how the Basel fans identify back wall. Kerry Blackshear wide open on the back door. Backcourt issues have been a problem for Hiroshima. So you can find a Blackshear. He's made one three, takes another one. This guy has come ready to play. Well, that's going to be a simple play there for the Dragonflies. Go to that pick and pop auction with Kerry Blackshear Jr. Remember, Hiroshima started the first quarter. Not too bad, of course, but then it was the second part of the first quarter. They really struggled. They paid way too much respect. Moody left wide open. He can make these. He'll fire it. That's going to be a problem. And he's trying to go all the way. Again, struggling early on. Kenny, no contact. Now can they push this one all the way? Uncontested. Finishes with a wide open layup. Well, the transition play between these two teams could be a big difference in this game. How often they can get out on the break and get easy buckets. But again, Hiroshima needs to use their post play. Kai Soto, Kerry Blackshear. A lot of times the ball stays here in the backcourt. Suchi has a switch. Now Blackshear's got a mismatch. And that's the right play there. Drawing the foul early on. <laughs> Well, Sato Ogawa had to guard Kerry Blackshear in the post. And again, if Hiroshima gets those situations, they've got to dub the ball down. And you got to ask the question, why not set more screens? As now Nick Mayo checks into the game. Hiroshima going big here. Mayo, Soto. And Blackshear. Well, Soto getting his pocket picked. And an unsportsmanlike foul is going to be called against Kai Soto. And that's a slight frustration play. Well, that's tough on Kai because he had to catch the ball from the inbound. Well, you could call it a foul. It was a reach, but again, there's no denying Kai committing that foul. Now, again, I watch a lot of PBA basketball. I love the PBA. You probably won't see that called in the PBA, but in international basketball, anytime you make a deliberate foul, especially when there's no defense back, it's always going to be called as an unsportsmanlike foul. And this is something Kai has to learn. He's going to play for Gilas this summer, the 2023 FIBA World Cup. 
And again, I'm very confident Kai Soto is going to develop into an elite player. He's young, he's still learning. The expectations are always going to be high on this young man, but it's all learning process for Kai Soto. Started the game off well so far. Two rebounds and one good play under the basket. They're going to need Kai Soto for four quarters. So Chiba now, because of the unsportsmanlike foul, will get two free throws and they're going to get the ball back. As Edwards makes the first free throw. As the great Rashid Wallace would say, the ball don't lie. But unfortunately, in this case, it does tell a few inaccuracies. Gavin Edwards, usually a very consistent free throw shooter. Three point lead to Chiba. Can they build some confidence here? Moody trying to go baseline. Can't get by Kerry Blackshear. Blackshear with a reach. And again, there was no need to make the reach. That was great defense by Kerry Blackshear. As soon as he went for the reach, I mean, that's great defense. Preventing Moody, but it's right here. No need to make that reach. Well, shout out to AJ and again watching from Dubai. Basel fans, let us know where are you watching right now in the world? Who are you supporting? Back to a play beautifully executed. Ogawa getting the layup. That's two times now in an inbound play. The rush of the Dragonfly is just falling asleep. Well, another foul has the call here against Chiba Jets. It's going to be the second team foul. It's going to be against Sato Ogawa. That's his second personal foul, so John Patrick most likely is going to make a change. Get the ball inbound and just able to get this one in. There's a penetration all the way. Beautiful move. That's much better. Finding the gaps for Real Terashima. A lot of times he settles for mid range and sometimes perimeter shots, but you like to see him get to the rack. So he actually going to pick a pop with Vic Law. Made one through already. Tells him with this one. It's going to go out of bounds. That will be Hiroshima ball. Excellent work by Isaiah Murphy. AJ watching from Dubai. Welcome, my friend. Welcome to everybody else. Some penetration by Rio Terashima. Well, shout out to Johnny watching from Taiwan. Nihama, welcome. Wanda Pengyo. And Melanio watching from Dubai as well. Mayo in the post, got it by Smith. Gets caught a double team. Somebody's wide open, throws it away. Blackshear doesn't want to pick up another foul. Again, yeah, it's a smart play by Blackshear because he could have picked up a second puzzle. And in the end, just had to give the layup. But Moody's got to take care of the basketball. Simple as that. It's John Moot. May goes up. And again, beautiful play by Nick Mayo. Well, sorry, I got Moody and Mayo confused there. But that's much better by Mayo being aggressive. Trying to get to the bucket. Again, it's too easy for Vic Law. Getting into the paint, uncontested. This is where Hiroshima needs to tighten the defense up. Well, shout out to Roger. Welcome, my friend. Come on, Stafo. And shout out to Dudes Kids Dope as well, the YouTube channel. Welcome, my friend. They're going to call an offensive foul against now to Suji. Well, I have to see the replay. Shout out to Kobe Reyes. Well, unless they're trying to say now to Suji through an elbow. I'd say it's a little bit harsh, but he's picked up a second personal, so he'll have to go to the bench. And shout out to Lester Sim and Energy Nguyen. Xin chào, Energy. Watching from Indiana. 
Thank you very much, Bo. And welcome, Vladimir Valdez, watching from California. Welcome, my friend. And Cyril, watching from Taiwan. Kenneth Peter from New Zealand, welcome. And Mickey, watching from Denver, Colorado, getting ready for the NBA Conference Finals between the Lakers and the Denver Nuggets. Two minutes, 33 to go. Sheba with a five-point lead. We go for another three. Three is up. Three is good. And Nick Milley's going to have to call timeout because the Jets, flying with confidence, hitting their fourth treble so far here of the first quarter. Well, what Chiba Jets are able to do in their offense is set so many screens and dribble handoffs. And what that does is leave so many wide-open perimeter shooters. Hiroshima have to try and either fight through the screens or switch to perfection because they cannot allow Chiba to get too many wide open looks from downtown. Let's go and listen out to this timeout. Well, Kerry Blashier hitting two three-pointers for the Dragonflies. That's that pick and pop auction. Just like he did for Galatasaray last season in the Basketball Champions League in Europe. This man can light it up from the perimeter. But again, you got to ask the question, with the size and physicality that Nick Milling has with this team, why don't they try to isolate more of their post players? Because you got Mayo, Blackshear, Kai Soto. Make the defense collapse. Put Chiba Jets in foul trouble. back into the game. Struggling early on, but trying to post up. And that's what I'm talking about. Get in the post. Get him into foul trouble. That's going to be the third team foul against Chiba Jets. I mean, Chiba's is a good team. Defensively, they're great. But if you use your strengths, Vic Law's got no choice but to foul them. What well, technical fouls being caught on the Hiroshima bench? Well, Hiroshima really need to calm themselves down. Well, this is interesting because this is game three. Emotions cannot fly too high here. They gotta calm themselves. Steps up to make the technical foul shot. Now it's a nine point lead, but it will be possession back to Hiroshima down the other end. As Vic Law was called for a foul against his defense on Dwayne Evans. I don't know what happened there, but something must have been said from the Hiroshima. Oh, it was a head coach technical, excuse me, so it was Nick Milling. Also, the game, Mayo, he'll fire three. It's a back eye, can't get it. After two minutes here in the first quarter, Chiba can't make this a double digit lead. Lord tries a cross court, finds Sato wide open, fires it, doesn't get it. Sanfunia with a rebound, he'll try to push this one. Evans again, the post, a good matchup, and again, another. Throw it in the post. That's a fourth team foul, and that's against Takuma Sato. Again, it's not a game plan they could try to use the entirety, but if they can set some early fouls or against Chiba, it can dictate how Chiba plays their defense for the rest of the game. Getting them in foul trouble, it's a good option for them. So now Gavin Edwards comes back into the game. So Chiba going a bit bigger here, and I wonder if Nick Milling 
Well, we'll decide to counter this by possibly bringing Kai Soto back in. Another three. Cunho takes it. Fires it. Cutting it down to a six-point ball game. And again, go to your game plan. Throw it in the post. Cause some foul trouble. Let it open up on the perimeter. Hiroshima's got to be careful here. They got hands all over the players. Well, again, another wide open three. It's up. No good. They secure the rebound this time with Sefunyo. Now, can they get something here in the transition? Shiba just getting back in time. Slowing this down against the Dragonflies. It's a penetration. It's all the way a circus shot, but nobody going in for an offensive rebound. That's a poor offense. Over to pick the role play again. Turns it over. Good defense. Now, can they capitalize? Nobody running with them. And this is where the fatigue of game three settles in. Evans looking to isolate. And it's all isolation basketball. Again, it's not good here from Hiroshima. Not playing team basketball. No pick and rolls. No movement whatsoever. And this is where I'd bring Kai Soto back in the game. Give them a post option. You're drawing fouls against the Chiba Jets. More, a few seconds, mid-range, pulls up, fires it. In and out, doesn't get it. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the first quarter, Chiba Jets have a six-point lead against the Russia Dragonflies. Game three of the B-League quarterfinal playoffs. The winner will play either Shimane Susanna Magic or Alvok Tokyo in the semifinals. Well, we'll run you through some of the stats so far here. Chiba being led by Vic Law and John Mooney. Combined total of 10 points. Well, Dragonfly is being led by Kerry Blackshear. He has six points so far. Two for two from the perimeter. Kai Soto, two rebounds, two points. But I've been impressed so far with Kai. Looking a lot more aggressive. Does have the one turnover. But I got to ask the question. Hiroshima looking more dangerous when they throw the ball in the post. Keep going to that option. Keep putting Chiba Jets under pressure. And just look at the atmosphere in this arena. These Chiba Jet fans, they are unbelievable. They've seen their team perform the absolute best season we've ever seen here in the B-League. Having the best record, also having setting a B-League record for 24 consecutive victories. Remember, B-League season is 60-plus games. Back-to-backs on the weekends. Well, hello to all of our YouTube viewers at the moment. I can see we got a lot of Cababayans. I tell you what, I love Filipino basketball fans. Every time I meet Filipino basketball fans, their knowledge of basketball is it's unbelievable. But I want to know right now from all the fans watching, who are you supporting? Are you supporting the Chiba Jets or are you supporting Hiroshima Dragonflies? Dragonflies are going to return with Seifunyo. Now to Suji. Isaiah Murphy, Mooney and Evans in the front court. Well, shout out to Kenneth Gil Bolingo, shout out to Ipis, and shout out to Ferdinand as well. Welcome everybody, John TV as well, and AJ Roluna, welcome. Trading by six points, and they cut this down. Murphy going, and Evans, much better play, getting points in the paint. Murphy making the penetration, drawing the defense, and the dish off. Good play. Possession game. Can Chiba try to build some more momentum? He's a pick and pop. Good rotation on defense. And it's going all the way. Sucker shot. Doesn't get it. He goes out of bounds. That will be four seconds on the shot clock. Chiba Jets ball. Shout out to Louie as well. Welcome, Louie. Welcome, my friend. And Johnny Jude watching from Taiwan. Welcome again. 
And RJ comes up all. Few seconds down. Moody goes, throws it down with a two handed rim rocker. Again, inbound defense is becoming a problem here for Hiroshima. And that's why I like Kai Soto in the game. Putting Kai Soto right under the basket as a solid rim protector. Moody got it by Gavin Edwards. Put the moves on. Moody bumping. Tough shot again. Nobody going in for an offensive rebound. That's a lot of isolation basketball here from Hiroshima. So if they're going to play that basketball, somebody's got to crash the boards. Get the second chance points. Smith pick a pop here with Moody. Moody mid range. And that's automatic. Eight point board game. Two Chuba Jets. Evans tries a three, he fires it. Again, that calms the nerves down. Cuts it down, a five-point ball game. Shout out to Ryan Melen as well, welcome. Yoso, welcome, my friend. Patrick Esteban, welcome. Magandang Gabi. Another deep three. What a response, Yugi Togashi. Somebody call the electrician, because Togashi time. He is shooting the lights out at the moment. three-pointer and decided not to pull the trigger. Murphy running around a few screens again. Sloppy pass there, turning it over. She even looking to capitalize. Smith crossing over all the way. Sloppy shot, good rebound. I think the foul is going to be pulled over the back foul, so good box out. Well, Murphy tried to throw the lob. Very well contested by Christopher Smith, putting his hand in the cookie jar. The box out here by Sanfuni, just keeping Gavin Edwards away from getting a second chance point. Man Warrior watching from Horsham in West Sussex in the United Kingdom. Welcome, my friend. Sanfuni just finding a little space there, drawing the foul. It's going to be a second team foul against Chiba Jets. This one's going to be against Yuki Togashi. Hopefully, he isn't actually a point guard. Again, this has been a problem for Hiroshima. The times in the back hole, they have looked very vulnerable. Shout out to GD May. Hit the pop. Mayo, 50 feet. Got to make this one. Easily tucked away. And that's better basketball from Hiroshima. Setting ball screens, popping into the areas. Just taking those 50 feet jump shot. So actually made three threes. Dan Murphy getting caught out on the box out. But it's too easy at the moment. Murphy's got a cool box out. At the moment, the defense. It's been good so far from Hiroshima, but that's too easy for Chiba. Let me go on baseline, look for a kick out. Not a lot of movement, almost turning it over. Funyu just throwing it away. Sloppy basketball yet again. Well, he's got to take care of the ball. It's too casual. It's a good ball screen, but Funyu throwing a no look bounce pass. Lucky they didn't come up with a loose ball. Shutahara is going to take a breather, go to the bench. John Patrick changing his bench up. Terashima is coming back in to play point guard here for the Rush with Dragonflies. Eight point ball game, 636 to go. Sadohara, remember, he was the key difference in the third quarter of game one that enabled Hiroshima to leave with the victory. Deep three, it's up, no good. Sanahara, just able to put a hand to it. Finding Evans. Evans trying to isolate. 
Down the middle, nowhere to go, and again another throw, thrown away pass. And it's all isolation basketball. Hiroshima not going back to what they were doing in the first quarter. Cementing post position, setting screens for the bigs, and throwing the ball into the post. And that's what caused problems. Going away from that game plan, could find themselves down by double digits. Sagashi coming off a ball screen with Vic Law. Law getting it off the roll. Wide open. Takes the three. Fires it. Doesn't get it. Mayo with a big rebound. Now, can Dragonflies. Chip into the deficit with Terashima. He's going for a post up now. Kicks this one out to Mayo. Mayo, yeah, throwing it right in the corner. That's a tough shot. The offense is going to be like this, and another foul picked up. Well, you've got to ask the question, where is the identity for Hiroshima Dragonflies? It's all isolation basketball. Put the ball in the hands of one player. Standing around, not a lot of movement here on offense. John Mooney checking back into the game, but Chiba... Moody left wide open. Again, he can make these, and that's a problem. Hiroshima paying way too much respect to the Chiba Jets. Jets getting too many wide open looks and drilling every three-pointer. An offensive foul. Well, they're going to call an illegal screen. I believe this one's going to be called against Terashima, I believe. No, it's on Dwayne Evans. Yeah, that's the right call. Evans just leaning into Tagashi. Right now, if you're Nick Milling, maybe call a timeout here, trying to settle the nerves down. The players just looking out of sync. Here comes the ball screen for Tagashi. Tagashi running off the screen, pulls up for another tough three. Doesn't get it. Mayo secures a rebound. I think they'll live with that shot. Gets to Togashi, the tough three pointers. That's good defense. But where's the offense going to come here from Hiroshima? Finds Sadahara, bumps it, doesn't get the yeah, have one. But he'll go to the free throw line. Two free throws come from Sadahara. There's a penetration. Now, he doesn't use the ball screen. Suji finds Sadahara. That's going to be the third foul against Sato. We got a timeout now. These two teams are going to talk it over. We're getting the back to play. Watch Mooney wide open. Two players, Mayo and Funyu, chasing Togashi, just leaving a wide open. Dunk under the basket defensively. That's the third time they've been caught out on the baseline. Inbound play in Togashi. You cannot leave this guy wide open as he does for Katsuki's five in the FIBA World Cup and Asia Cup qualifiers. He will light it up. He's one of the best point guards here in the B League. Well, shout out to Vincent P, to Mac as well. Thank you very much, Mac, for your kind comments. Shout out to the random guy. And Jeff as well. Welcome. Come on, stop all Renz. Well, that was a dish off. And every time they make those penetrations, they get into the paint. I mean, one thing Cheap is good at, they collapse the paint every time Hiroshima wants to drive because they are confident Hiroshima's not going to make all the three points. In that case, Dwayne Evans... Does hit the three coming off the screen. But Dragonflies, they need to get into the paint. Well, there are the scores so far. Six points for Karen Blackshear Jr. Dwayne Evans with five. Nick Mayo with four. But they need other players to step in and step up at the moment. 
from Joma watching from Canada. And Butch, Kamastapo, welcome. Well, much needed two free throws here for Sadahara. Chiba leading by 11 points. Makes both of these and cut it down to single digits. Just as they did yesterday. Hiroshima Dragonfly struggling from the free throw line. Dan, you just got to step up and make them. You never want to look back on the game. I think the outcome could have been different had you made all your free throws. Missed them both. But Mayo, well, Mayo's got to go up with that. He's wide open. The Rashma need confidence. Got to play together. There's a pick and pop. Evans made his last three. Makes this one. Cutting it down to eight points. Again, simple ball screen, but Terashima does a better job of drawing the defense. He comes off the screen, which led to a wide open Dwayne Evans on the pop. Putting his hand to the lane. Can he finish? Evans goes up. No foul call. Missed the layup. Well, that was a golden chance to cut it down to six points. But good defense My Evans. They have to believe in themselves. Smith with the ball in his hands. Six on the shot clock. Pulls up. Deep three. Nothing but net by Christopher Smith. And that's a tough shot. Hiroshima's got to live with that one. They defended him well, but again, they gave him just a little bit too much time and space. They've got to make those decisions on the ball screens. Switch, bump, show. They cannot let Chiba get open looks as much as they're getting so far, and even as they did in game two. Hiroshima. Goes in with a one-legged fadeaway. Front eye doesn't get it. Another D3 shoots to Hara. And now doesn't get it. The rebound has been secured. Defensively, you saw that Dwayne Evans doing a good job of not letting Gavin Edwards get a wide open look on the pick and roll. Evans had the three-pointer. Slowing the offense down, trying to get some fluidity in the movement. Evans looking to isolate. Mahano. See, he pulls up a circus shot. And again, if those are the shots Dragonfly is going to get, it's going to be a tough night for them. I mean, he makes a three pointer, but they have. I think that's indication Evans is going to take a breather. Blackshear is going to come back in the game, probably give him another scoring option. But I would put Kai Soto back in the game. Get Kai in the post. Give him the ball. Make the defense foul him. Well, Mark Contenza is asking, what are the Kai stats? Kai has two points, two rebounds at the moment. But again, I'm thinking with Kai in the post, it just gives them a bit of an option. But Hiroshima, don't take the most of their size and physicality. They should really try to take advantage.
Well, Vic Law coming back into the game for the Chiba Jets. Blackshear Jr. also subbing back in. <clears throat> so Hiroshima still with Sadohara. Now to Suji Obio Terashima in the backcourt. Mayo, Blackshear Jr. will play the four and five role. Gavin Edwards, super pick and pop, doesn't get it. But again, Chiba Jets getting every offensive rebound. Ball being guided by Satohara. That's a mismatch. Jump ball doesn't get it. Gets his own rebound. And again, that's just hustle, desire. The jump ball violation is going to be called. I think that's going to be maybe a little push off there by Vic Law. This could be a problem here for Hiroshima, giving too many second chances to Chiba. So the possession arrow went in favor of Chiba Jet. So Hiroshima, if another jumble doesn't happen, we'll get the first possession of the third quarter. Two minutes here in the second. Moody left wide open. Time, space, drills it. And every time he's wide open, Hiroshima Dragonflies, they pay the price. Finds a bit of space, goes up, and a good penetration. Much better. Well, Satahara, as we saw in game one, was phenomenal making those backdoor cuts, getting under the basket. And looking very confident every time he was playing in and around the paint. He's got to play similar here tonight. But well, what is Rio Terashima doing? Hands all over Yuki Togashi, but he's got to calm down. Picking him up a half court like he's Reggie Miller. Step off him. He just cannot play like that. That's the last team foul. No more fouls to give here in the second quarter. He's hand on the shot clock. Togashi going that pick and roll of Edwards. Out of defense by Hiroshima. Togashi crosses, getting your hand to Parson Lanes. As now Tosuji just comes over for the double team. And that double team was at the right time because it was at the end of the shot clock and identifying Yuki Togashi loves to go for the crossover and step into a three-point shot. Two seconds left. Well, I was wrong. Hiroshima has three team fouls. Smith with the fadeaway. Takes it. Doesn't get it. Blackshear Jr. secures a rebound. Eight point deficit. Dragonflies, potential two for one. Suji goes up, gets rejected. Sakuma Sato said, Not in my house. Sugashi so pulls up. It's a poor option in transition. They had time there. Could have made it a double digit lead, but decided to go with a three pointer. Pick a pop now. Mayo under the basket. Finds Satahara. Another block. Well, Edwards. Tell me the Shiva Jets insurance policy. Satahara saying he got fouled there, but the referees not calling it. Six seconds now. Smith pump fakes. Steps back. Deja vu. Just like he did at the end of the second quarter in game two. Hits. The three-pointer right at the end of regulation. Well, take me back to game two yesterday. Christopher Smith did the exact same thing. The exact same position. Are you kidding me? 11-point ball game. Chiba Jets looking very confident, getting a lot of good looks from the perimeter. And that is the end of the first half. 11-point lead into the hosts. The winner of this game will play either the winner of Shimane Susanna Magic or Alvac Tokyo in the semifinals of the 2022-23 B-League playoffs. Well, Basel fans, go get something to drink. Go get something to eat. Right now, umi no mako nang kape, kumakano nang jolly bee. Anong pagalam mo, akosi jolly bee, Josh Bet. I'm gonna have a halftime break. Sandali lang, wait a moment.
Hangang Samuli. We'll see you later in only under 20 minutes. But for now, this is Bealey, Playoff Basel, Hiroshima, trailing by 11 points to the Chiba Jets.
Welcome back, Basel fans. Second half underway momentarily. Here are the first half highlights from this B-League quarterfinal playoff match. Game three between Hiroshima Dragonflies and Chiba Jets. Mayo trying to get a post up here against Smith, but then having caught in a double team, throwing it away to Vic Law. And Law trying to get out and transition here. Going up against Kerry Blackshear Jr. Well, that was the perimeter shot there. The kick out. The wide open three. It was up from Sato. Chiba Jets shooting very well so far here from the perimeter. Well, currently in this game, Chiba shooting 7 for 9 from downtown Hiroshima. 6 for 12. That was the pick and roll, finding John Mooney wide open under the basket, which led to two-handed jam. Defensively, Hiroshima Dragonflies have struggled against inbound baseline possessions against Chiba Jets. So they need to tighten the defense up. They give them way too many wide open looks. Inside the paint and on the perimeter, Yugi Tagashi, 3-3 so far here in the first half. Mooney left wide open, and that's only going to be one outcome, the bottom of the net. Well, there was a circus shot coming from Naoto Suji. That made it an eight-point ball game. But look at the block shot here. The rejection by Takuma Sato. Sato saying, not in my house. Well, deja vu, just like he did in game one. Game two, excuse me. Christopher Smith with the back step. Firing from the perimeter. He made the exact same shot in the exact same moment. Three-pointer to finish off the first half. Well, some more stats from the first half. Chiba leading by 11 points. Nine field goals with inside the rainbow. Six for 18 for the Dragonflies from two-point land. Both teams combined totals. We mentioned 13 three-pointers. But Hiroshima only getting to the free throw line once this evening. Rebound says it all. Seven offensive rebounds. 21-15. to 15. Too many second chances for Chiba Jets. Well, we didn't see Kai Soto in the second quarter, but, you know, defensively, I thought he was good keeping Chiba. Now, he did have one turnover, but that was off a tough inbound pass. But they need the rim protection. They need somebody to keep Gavin Edwards off the offensive rebounds. John Mooney had a double-double in the last game. 14 points, 10 rebounds. Blackshear struggling with foul trouble in game two. It's only an 11-point ball game. Hiroshima can come back, but they need to be collective. Evans leading scorers for the Dragonflies, 8 points. Mooney with 14 at the moment and 4 rebounds away from that potential double-double. Back-to-back he'll have. Basel fans joining us on the live YouTube stream and Facebook stream. Let us know where are you watching in the world Rob is watching from Belgium, Mabuhai. Welcome, Rob. Well, other people handle with care also watching. Dream for Kai Soto to play in the NBA one day. JMJ also, welcome, my friend. Linz Mahine, welcome. Also, remember you from the live chat yesterday. And Noel as well. Welcome, Noel. Kamastapo. We'll try to give everybody a shout out. I'm trying to go back and forth between the YouTube and the live Facebook stream. But welcome here. This is B-League Basketball Game 3. Winner will go on to the semifinals to play either Shimane, Susanna Magic, or Alvac Tokyo. Well, shout out to Jerry Sabit Jr., Well, because the jump ball was called at the end of the second quarter, it was indeed. Well, shalom, chavarim, shali, etmol, apuel yuchu shalom, lo, lenatzeach, anilo, sameach. Well, shout out to Dell. Welcome, Gerald Kamusta, Gerald Aquino. Welcome, my friend. And shout out to Roll Padilla as well. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. And Jose Talento. Welcome, brother. 
Welcome to everybody. Let's get the second half underway. Hiroshima. First possession. Trying to cut this down to single digits. Actually crossing over down the middle. Contact draws are found. This time we've got a free throw line. Well, actually wasn't getting many calls in game two, and he was getting called for a lot of fouls. And that was much more aggressive. Crossing over the crisscross against Gavin Edwards. And Gerald Aquino says, Laban Hiroshima. He is a Hiroshima fan. Ryan Gathia, welcome. And Alan Louie. Blackshear makes the first free throw. And Edward, Jamie watching from Cebu, welcome. And shout out to RS. And shout out to Deborah watching for the Philippines. Blackshear makes both free throws. Cutting it down to single digits. Well, defense is going to be key here for Hiroshima. They've got to get a few stops to build the confidence. Chiba's the kind of team. When they have a lead, they can definitely build on it. They got to quiet them down here in the third quarter. Hiroshima with well, good hands by Kira Blackshear. Defensively, one of the best bigs here in the B League. Johnny June watching from Taiwan. Welcome, my friend. Hesitated, put the moves on. Again, it's too easy. Finding Mooney with a two handed jam. We started with the penetration from Christopher Smith. Put the moves on Dwayne Evans. And shout out to Wendell watching from Mahai. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. Oh, moving the paint. Black should get his own rebound. One for three. Three is up. Three is good. Now it's back to an eight-point ball game. Hiroshima trying to build their confidence. It's Terashima getting his first tray ball. Another penetration ball. Maybe getting away with a carrying violation there. He's actually running off ball screens. Turning it over. Blackshear with the interception. Now can he take this? Bumps all the way. He doesn't get the add one, but he'll go to the free throw line. And a chance to cut this down to six points. But again, Kerry Blackshear Jr. making the interception. Good hands and taking this all the way. And the fans in Istanbul and Turkey last season will remember the good work he gave the Galatasaray. But can he help lead the Russia? We got a timeout. John Patrick wants to talk it over with his team. So far, 5-2 here in the third quarter for the Dragonflies. We're currently looking at the live YouTube chat. Maytan, welcome. Rafi, welcome as well. Fans coming in and all over the world watching B League basketball. We've got fans in Asia, Europe, Africa, and the Americas watching live here on the YouTube stream. This is B League basketball game three. When it takes all, John Milley now, Nick Milley, excuse me, talking to his players. Potential chance to make this a six, six point ball game. Well, shout out to Butch Costales and his wife Lori watching in Frankfurt in Deutschland, Germany. Jesse from Washington, D.C. Welcome. Blackshear Jr. makes the first free throw. Well, if he makes this one, potentially becomes a two slash three possession game. Just the confidence the Rushma needs. Keep this under single digits. Rafikano, yes, I did say your name. Welcome. Six point lead. Rush. Well, no offensive foul called against Gavin Edwards. Clear push off. 
Smith now kicking out Mooney, going all the way. Good. Now they're going to call a foul. Maybe a little bit harsh. Look at Smith there, finds Mooney. Well, the hands are up, but the thing is, Sadohara does jump into him. Well, shout out to Ted Boy 9 0, Yakshimesh. Shout out to Sarah watching from Kansas. Moody missing the first free throw. And the man is usually very clutch from the mid range. Remember, he's near a double double again as he was yesterday. 14 points, 10 rebounds. Missed them both. Sadahara secures the rebound. Terashima, wide open. Good trap. Oh, I missed the layup. Are they going to go goal set? No. Offensive interference. Now they're trying to say the ball was in the cylinder. Patrick's trying to say that it hit the rim. Let's have a look at the replay. Once it hits the rim, it hits twice. Yeah, good call. Good call by the official. So now it is a two-possession game, and all of a sudden, Hiroshima getting out of transition. Now John Patrick's going to use his coach's challenge. So the officials will review this. Now the rule, I believe, is... When the ball hits the rim, it's up in the air. That's when you can knock it out. But my thing is, it hits the rim and rolls twice. So it'll be interesting to see what the officials decide to make here. Let's have a look there. It hits twice. It's almost in the cylinder. So I would be very surprised if they cancel this. National Basel Rule, as I said, when the ball hits the rim off a shot, it's up in the air, you can knock it out. And I'm pretty sure that's in the cylinder, but again, we'll see what the referees decide. moment now because remember if this counts it will be a two possession game and Hiroshima can build the confidence Nick Milling getting his players a little bit more composed at the halftime interval coming out here looking more confident Hiroshima Dragonflies coming here to the Funabashi Arena by the capital city of Tokyo here in Japan it exactly the ball hit the rim twice Patrick seems to think that the ball hit the rim it was up in the air and as I said it was rolling around it was in the cylinder and that's why it counts four-point ball game dragonflies getting the transition points now can they get the stops early in the third quarter this is game three of the B League playoffs that was going and again, another foul is gonna be called Defensively, Hiroshima making way too many errors. And Edwards will go back to the free throw line. Well, they're trying to play a man to man full court pressure, but Kevin Edwards just playing the sucker dummy play there against Dwayne Evans. Two shots. Well, that's three missed free throws now from the Chiba Jets. Again, maybe going into halftime a little bit too confident up by 11 points. Makes this one. It's a five-point lead. Missed them both. Well, four consecutive missed free throws. Now Hiroshima. Chance to make this a one-possession game. Evans cross Noah goes up. Count it! And he'll go to the free throw line. Potentially for the three-point play. The crossover. It's happened to Edwards twice. Kerry Blackshear did it. And now Evans taking 
Gavin Edwards back to primary school. Hiroshima believing in themselves. Chiba's been the best team in the B-League this season. 24 consecutive victories. Makes the free throw. One point ball game. Dragonflies building their confidence, building their identity. Nash being put under heavy pressure. Being got by Terashima. Five seconds, crosses over, takes a deep three. And again, no problem from Yuki Tsugashi with the dagger. And now it's back to a four point ball game. Lashi comes up to set the ball screen. Terashima goes in a little float, just kisses that one off the glass. Hiroshima again continuing to attack. Terashima going up to nine points. It's a one possession game. There's the mid range baseline shot. Another offensive rebound. Edwards gets caught a triple team. Kicks out to Vic Law. He's wide open. He nailed it. Back to back triples for the Jets. And now it's a five point ball game. But the problem again for Hiroshima, they don't take care of the rebounds. Hiroshima, he finds some downtown. He'll fire it, and it is a cookout. These two teams exchanging three-point field goals on the Japanese basketball B-League stock exchange market. The interest rate is getting higher and higher. He's taking the mid-range. Turning down the temperature. It's going to go out of bounds, and that will be the Hiroshima Bowl. Well, shout out to Buenaventura, Rogel. Welcome, my friend. Let us know, ladies and gentlemen, where are you watching right now in the world? Are you watching in the Philippines? Are you watching in Japan? Anywhere else in Asia, Europe, Africa, or in the Americas? B-League basketball. Hiroshima with a chance to tie this game up. Oh, just turning it over. Sloppy basketball. Foul is going to be looked like a clean block, but I think there was some contact. Just when Hiroshima, oh, just sloppy play there. Well, the block is clean for sure, but let's have a look. The hand in the back right there. Well, merhaba to Bayonder. Nabed Arkadashim, Turkia, Heidi Turkia. And after four missed free throws, Yuki Togashi makes the first free throw here in the second half for the Chiba Jets. This is a four point ball game. He makes this one. Well, that's one for five. Make will find those free throws, eight point ball game. That's a three point lead. Terashima mid range. Nobody going in for an offensive rebound, and that's too quick of an offense. Hiroshima needs to play with patience. Moore pulls up, he takes a mid range, and that is automatic. Responding down the other end, putting it back to two possessions. Good ball move, Funyu left wide over, he's got to make this beautiful basketball. And when Hiroshima play team ball, when they move the rock, get wide open shots, it becomes Uwea Na. Smith got it by Sadahara, that could be a mismatch. Coming around the screen, taking another three, and again, Chiba Jets. Hiroshima played them to way too much respect. They give them all the time and space to take three point shots. And again, a circus shot. That might be Uwina. Hayop Panis. Back and forth between these two teams. More spinning. Getting away with travel there. 
Myth got it by Satahara. The foul. And there you can see exactly Terry Black just saying the referee. It says she was a traveling violation. This is where Dragonflies have struggled. Quick three off the inbound. Front eye doesn't get now. They can tie the well. It's a three-point ball game. Nobody running in transition though. There's a penetration. Kicks out. Funyu doesn't go for the three. Contact, no foul called, and a poor offense again by the Dragonflies. Smith crossing over, throwing his arms out, finds Vic Law. Heavily defended, deep three, corner, doesn't get it. And they're going to call a foul here against Dwayne Evans. Four minutes to go here, it's going to be two free throws. As Nick Mayo comes back into the game for the Dragonfly, Sato Hara also leaving. So Isaiah Murphy, along with Naoto Suji, checking back into the game. So we missed five free throws so far here, but no problem with that one. But Hiroshima needs to keep this under double digits going into the fourth quarter. They played some good basketball so far here. Five point lead to Chiba Jets. Hiroshima now trying to penetrate, kicks out to Suji. Mayo looking for a post up now. Now the clearing out for an isolation. Here's a double team. Cross the court, Terashima. Down low, Murphy hangs, draws a foul, and that's good basketball. Again, they saw the double team coming with Blackshear, kicked out to Terashima. And when the second double team came, finding Murphy, what a pass by Terashima. Murphy stepping up to make the free throw again. He's played some good minutes so far here for the Dragonflies in the regular season. Coming as a utility sixth man off the bench. Occasionally has started, but makes his free throw. It's back to a three-point ball game. Makes them both. Well, Nico Roy is saying. Interesting. But good from Gerald Aquino there. Good teamwork again. Credit to Hiroshima, playing better team basketball. But defensively, they got to get stops here. No more fouls to give for both teams. He actually crossed the line shoot the Hara. Deep three, doesn't get it. Murphy secures a rebound. Suji may be getting away with a backcourt violation. Hiroshima needs a good offense. Suji finds a spade and a carrying violation. And again, it's another turnover on the backcourt. That's real Terashima, excuse me. All right, you just got to take care of the basketball. It's simple as that. When you're a backcourt player, point guard, shooting guard, you cannot commit those turnovers. Three minutes to go. Three point ball game. Aliyub. Again. Defensively, Dragonfly is getting caught out there. 
Black shit. Kicks out the Mayo. All thanks. Steps out. Murphy had the shot. Didn't go for it. That's Sanfunia. It's all a struggle right now for Dragonflies. Suji steps back. A tough shot. Again, he just can't get a good offense. It's been the story for Hiroshima. Vic Law's got a mismatch in the foul. That's a silly foul to give away because now Vic Law's going to go to the free throw line. I had to switch on defense. I get it, but, you know, when you're in the penalty, you can't commit these fouls because what's already a one-possession game, you're just inviting Chiba Jets to make it a five-point ball game with two easy free throws. Now, the one thing here, Chiba Jets have missed five free throws so far here in the third quarter. No problem with Vic Law. Makes them both back to a five point ball game. Having Sefunyu in the backcourt along with now Tosuji. Oh, there's a mismatch. Double team coming. Well, Funyu is wide open. Mayo takes a three. Nails it. Cutting it down to a two point ball game. Hiroshima's permitted shooting here in the third quarter, giving them a lifeline. And so far, they've won this third quarter by nine points. Power going baseline. So left wide open. Good closeout defense. Goes for the side of the backboard. And now Hiroshima. They've been fouled. Two free throws come for Sefunio. And a chance to tie the game up. Well, AJ Roluna, what do you think, my friend? You're the boss. That's a poor shot selection. As Hiroshima now have a chance to tie the game up. <laughs> Sanfunyu may be making the most of that foul. I think the officials, well, they're going to review this for a potential unsportsmanlike foul. I would be very interested. Let's have a look at the replay. I don't think that should be unsportsmanlike. He gets the ball on that one. I think that's a natural basketball play. It's a regular foul, but it's going to be two free throws because both teams are in the bonus. And Gavin Edwards coming back into the game here for Christian Smith. What's the difference between these two teams? The depth in Chiba Jets is much greater in terms of the quantity of players they have. Well, Ariel Del Moro said it perfectly. Here in the third quarter, Hiroshima are playing with Puso. Laban Pilipinas, as they would say back in Manila. But Funyu misses the free throw. Could this be the mental edge that they struggle with? They scratch the surface. They get so close. Got the second one. One point ball game. Hiroshima believing in themselves, playing with Pusol. And he gets a stop here. No more fouls to give him. Smith tries to find a penetration. Identify what turns it over. And the ball is all over. Sayafunyu diving on the floor. That's going to be a jump ball violation. Chiba Jets will get the possession.
Now the reason Chiba Jets get the ball back is because the rush was started with the first possession of the second half. One twelve to go here in the third quarter. 10 point margin here in the third. Hiroshima have turned this game slightly around but they have struggled both on the offense and the defense. But Chiba, the best team in the regular season here in the B-League. Just trying to take care of the wet spot on the floor with the players go on the floor to get the hustle points. Obasso fans. We got one more quarter left. This is game three of the quarterfinals. B-League basketball. Who's going to win this? Will it be Chiba Jets or will it be Hiroshima Dragonflies? Smith now, two seconds. Takes on Murphy. Goes for the fadeaway. Doesn't get it. Mayo with a big rebound. And now the Dragonflies. Chance to take the lead. We haven't led in this game. Back to Mayo. Off the switch. Back to Sefunyu. He was wide open. Didn't go for the shot. 10 here on the shot clock. Seven seconds left. Black shit. That's going to be a traveling violation. And again, same story. Black shit Jr. trying to say he got fouled, but every chance the Rashman had to take the lead or tie the game up, they just don't get there. And Yugi Toyashi checks back into the game after much needed rest. Can he turn the game around? Straight off the bench. Ice in his veins. Are you kidding me? This guy just came on the floor. And Sagashi's three makes it back to a four-point ball game. Blackshear pump fakes. Gets fouled. He'll go back to the free throw line. Smart play. Mike Carey Blackshear. Well, he's been a hundred percent for the free throw line, Kerry Blackshear Jr. Net top scorer this season here in the B League. Makes the first one, no problem. 24.8 seconds left. He makes his free throw. It's a two point ball game, but Chiba will get the last possession of the third quarter. Credit to the Dragonflies. They have turned this game around. Missed the second one. That's going to be a jump ball violation. That's going to go back to Hiroshima. So Hiroshima now will get the last shot with 22.5 seconds left. And it's very good hands by Kerry Blackshear Jr. because it could have easily been called a foul. Jets make it a substitution. Shoot to coming back into the game. Dwayne Evans also. Last possession. Well, no. Sorry, because it wasn't a turnaround. Seven seconds difference. Back to black shit. Nowhere to go find Suji. Steps round three. Tells him get it. Another poor offense. Yashi going all the way. Fangirl gets the ab one. And it turns into a disaster for the Hiroshima Dragonflies. It's going to be a free throw here for Yuki Tsugashi. Nobody's stopping him here. Transition defense by the Dragonflies. It's just too slow to get back. And that could 
be a problem now for Hiroshima. We can make this a six point ball game. 1.8 seconds left. What could have been a potential tie game for the Dragonflies. Now has become a six point deficit. Terashima has to force this one up. The prayer is up. Ladies and gentlemen, one more quarter to go. Jets, 10 minutes away from the semifinals. Maybe Hiroshima, 10 minutes away. We'll find out. What a game it's been. Well, credit to Hiroshima, they did turn this quarter around. They've hit 10 three-pointers so far in this game. Chiba 11 for 26 from downtown. Kerry Blackshear with 13. Real Terashima with 12. Off of Chiba, John Moody still leading the score with 16 points. Yugi Tsugashi, he has 15. And Big Law also chipping in 14 points. Chris Smith. Nine points, five rebounds. So five rebounds more and one more point away from a double-double. Well, that's a big, big basketball. Surely that's got to go in the net. <laughs> basketball is the size of the ocean. That's on its way in, baby. Salamat Belen Hell. Excuse me, no. Arigato gozaimasu. Well, congratulations to the Chiba Jets fans for getting the gigantic basketball into the gigantic basketball net. And well done. Here's some highlights from the third quarter. Yuki Togashi time. Cooking it. Final fourth quarter, Chiba Jets getting the first possession. Jump ball maybe becoming a blessing in disguise here for the Jets. You can find him moving under the basket, throws it down with two hands. Again, Hiroshima getting caught out defensively. Hiroshima only trimmed by eight points. They need good possessions. Fumi, it's a good penetration. Goes in all the way. No problem kissing that one off the backboard. And that's how they've got to play in this game. The gamble on defense. It's got to be a shot. Sure, another quarter block. And one. Takuma Sato going to go to the free throw line here for the three point play. Let's have a look at the replay. Sanahara just a little bit too late. It's a big moment now for Yugi Tsugashi. Makes the free throw. And it could be a nine point ball game. Hiroshima working so hard, but the problem is. is without Kerry Blackshear on the court, I mean, they need to rest and play as the depth in these two teams is quite marginally different.
Shingo Sato, member of the Japanese national team, has featured in many windows. Gets the free throw to drop. Nine point lead. Possession here must count for Sanfunio. Kick Salvo. Sahara had the three point up. Trying to split the defense. Funyo had the three. No foul cold. That's interesting. Well, Funyu surely got blocked there going to the basket. Well, that freeze will happen to let play continue. And there's a split the defense. Now watch Sanfunio. Surely that's a foul. now will go back to Chiba Jets who do have a nine point lead they can potentially make this 11 point ball game now to Suji coming back into the game Howard coming off a ball screen finding Vic Law Sato left wide open three is up three is good and again Way too much help side. Now it's a 12 point ball game. Nick Milling calling timeout as he needs to talk it over with his players. I mean, Sato, who's guarding him? Sato Haro's guarding him, excuse me. Defensively, Hiroshima all over the place. They're your top scorers in the game so far. Kerry Blashy is still leading the way here for Hiroshima Dragonflies. And still remaining on the bench. He's going to stay with Dwayne Evans and Nick Mayo. Inspirational third quarter from Hiroshima, but now it's where it really counts here in the fourth. Now or never, eight minutes, 30 seconds from the semifinals. We're going home for the summer vacations. We'll find out. Kicking out to Evans, spinning, going all the way. Evans, that's a strong, beautiful move. Running it down a 10 point ball game. Tagashi again had the space to pull up the three pointer. She don't want to rush this one. Make every offense count. Sato Howard got it by Vic Law. Law with the fadeaway. Nothing but net by Vic Law. That's a tough shot off the dribble. She pulls up in the mid-range. Gets a rattle. Both teams exchanging mid-range buckets from the dribble. Fatigue settling in. These two teams. Third game in three days. She will want to get over to the final hurdle. Tested in game one. Can they close this game out? Hara pulls up. Three's up. No good. 
Mayo with a rebound. Mayo thought about taking the three-pointer. Finds Terashima. He's off the backboard. No push in the backboard. Nick Milling infuriated. He felt there was a foul on the rebound. Togashi now turning it over. Mayo giving this one up. As Terashima's going to lay it up. He cut it down to eight points. He just falls over the backboard. Now the play is need to be careful. Remember, it's the third game. So he's actually making a careless pick and pop there with Vic Law. Maybe a lifeline here for Hiroshima. Well, no foul trouble so far here in the fourth quarter. Chiba Yets committed team foul. Hiroshima have three fouls to give before they put Chiba in the penalty. Eight-point deficit, 6.40 to go. Game three, B-League playoff basketball. As you mentioned, the winner will play the Shimani Susanna Magic. Round back Tokyo. Edwards down the middle, kicks out the law. Wide open, three is up. Side the backboard. Murphy with a rebound. Just like they did in the third quarter. Rushman now building confidence. We've got to get good offenses. Sato now pump picks. Snap three puts up a circus shot. Gets his own rebound and hustles in. Now it is. Six point ball game. Dragonflies refusing to go away. There's a lob down under the basket. Mayo goes up. The block of the foul is going to be pulled. Well, the pick roll action that left Gavin Edwards under the basket. There's the pick, the ball screen. Mayo had to play cat and mouse. Trying to go for a lob. Wow, that looks clean. That looks like a good block. That's a tough one. The only thing is it comes from behind. He makes the first one. Just gets a second to rally. Remember, they missed five free throws in the third quarter. But Chiba, no problem closing this one out. Under six minutes. Still only an eight-point ball game. Plenty of time here for Hiroshima. But they gotta get good offenses. Sato drawing himself into danger. He kept throwing it away. And an unsportsmanlike foul now to Suji. He's got to take responsibility for that one. Dribbled himself into danger. Right into the corner, nowhere to go. Came off the ball screen. Just a sloppy pass. That's going to be two free throws now to the Chiba Jets, and they're going to get the ball back.
John Mooney near that double-double, of course, in this game. He's been phenomenal here in the three games. Struggled in game one. And this is second one. Nine-point ball game. 5.53. This game is not over. But the Rushman now only have one foul to give. Fatigue is settling in. These two teams exhausted from the two games they've already played here in the playoffs. Go back to Mooney, again left wide open, three is up, same result, John Mooney punishes Shiva Jets. Evans trying to put the moves on, finding Isaiah Murphy. And Murphy had time and space, didn't go for the shot, but goes for three this time. He'll take it, can't get it. Well, Chiba, all the momentum, double-digit lead, under five minutes. Yashi all the way, draws a foul, and he'll go to the free throw line. Came off the ball screen, nobody tried to stop him. A slight bit of contact there is what's sending him to the free throw line. We got a timeout now. These two teams are going to talk it over. Nick Milling. Has four minutes and 48 seconds to try and get his players to believe to make a comeback. Yuki Tsugashi is going to go to the free throw line here for two shots. A chance to make this a 14-point deficit. And over three games, the Rashima won game one, pushing Chiba to the final moments. Chiba emphatically winning game two yesterday. And now in this last game three, Dragonflies have four minutes, just under five minutes, excuse me, to save their season. Now, as we said, the winner of this game will go on to take on either Shimani Susanna Magic or Alvac Tokyo. Makes them both. Last shit now. Fires a three. Up, way off the mark. Again, fatigue really settling in. He's had to play a lot of minutes here in this game. As well as game two. He got into foul trouble. Hiroshima did make a comeback. He cut it down to one point. Had a chance to take the lead in the third quarter. So Chiba was that play the jump ball. It has cost them 
Deep three. That is big time for Christopher Smith. Right in the face. And Kerry Blackshear Jr. now making a 17 point ball game. And Blackshear and Yuki Togashi getting locked up. And Yuki Togashi doing the smart thing of just trying to walk away. Look at the three pointer here coming off the screen. The step back. Looking like Kyrie Irving in Game 7 of the 2016 NBA Finals. Last sheet going up against... Gavin Edwards makes the contact. Smart move by... Curry Blackshear, he'll go to the free throw line. Two shots and a chance to chip this down to 15 points. What's the pump fake here, but the contact he makes when going into him. That's a clever, intelligent move by Curry Blackshear. Hiroshima fans looking on very anxiously. Blackshear misses both free throws. And that goes out of bounds. But that will be cheaper ball as it comes up by Zia Miles. So you got to fill this team. The fatigue has really settled in. And the dawning aspect of knowing that their season is be all over now. Head coach's challenge is going to be made by Nick Milling. Let's have a look at the replay. Gavin Edwards. I think Edwards clearly gets a last touch there. Last review of this. I mean, it does look like Gavin Edwards does get the final touch. And they've overturned the decision. It's really interesting how it got to that stage because I thought it was quite clear that the last touch was definitely made by Gavin Edwards. Take the moves on. Goes up, gets the M1, and he'll go to the free throw line. Chance to cut this down to 14 points. 3.43 to go here in the fourth quarter. Wayne Evans spun the mismatch against Shutahara. Evans making a three-point play now. They got under four minutes. Everything needs to be a stop here. Not impossible. But it's a very daunting aspect of knowing it could be all over. Chiba just need to be patient. No need to rush anything here. But literally every defensive play must be a stop. Tugashi step back. Ambles that one. Goes out of bounds. And that will be, like I guess they take a deflection. So that's going to be Chiba Bull on the baseline.
They get him bound now. They force up a prayer. Doesn't get it now. The Rushman's got to be quick here. Is on the essence, so they must make every possession count very quickly. Last year had the three point, doesn't take it. Shima finding an opening, goes all the way, draws a foul. Who got a free throw line? Unlucky not to get the M1. But a chance to chip into deficit. Can't make this a 12 point ball game. They almost could have got the right touch on that one. That's been a key difference between these two teams. I mean, Chiba Jets, so many players they can bring in and out of the lineup. So many players they can start every game. And having that depth, allowing players to get rested, has been a monumental difference in the series. Gets the first one to rattle in. Makes them both. 12 point deficit. 259. Terashima. Giving them a little bit of a lifeline. But they got to get a stop on defense. They don't want to commit any more fouls. Kansan Shiba to the free throw line. Sam Murphy reaching. There's the gamble. Shiba, no need to rush anything. Slow it down. Time is on their side. Five on the shot clock. Finds Vic Law. Wide open. Picks and pops. Three pointer. Nails it. Sinks the big triple. It was good defense until he left. Big low, wide open. It's Evans just getting the response very quickly. It's back to 13 points. Oh, Rashma coming up with still, and a foul is going to be committed. And the Dragonfly's bench. I think they won an unsportsmanlike foul called. Black Shear, this is good for Hiroshima. They'll go back to the free throw line. But sloppy play from Vic Law. And this is where the fatigue settles in. Black Shear misses last two free throws. And the officials will review this. If this gets upgraded to an unsportsmanlike foul, this could be huge for Hiroshima. It could be a chance to make it down to single digits with under nearly two minutes to go. So just a regular foul. So two free throws coming for Blackshear Jr. Blackshear making the first one. If makes this one, it's going to be 11 point deficit, 217, but no fouls to give. All they can do is hope that Chiba turn it over or miss every shot. Ideally, Hiroshima will probably want to think about going for some three pointers if they get the ball back. Makes them both. Putting on a bit of full court pressure. Almost getting caught for a five second violation. Vic Law again, dribbling into traffic, turning it over again. Terashima, big three, can he get it? Get it! Now it's an eight-point ball game. Maybe, just maybe, there's a lifeline. Timeout now to John Patrick and his players. Dragonflies refusing to go away. Impossible? Maybe not. 
Maybe so, but we'll find out. Well, this is truly incredible. Back to back. First, it started with the turnover from Yuki Togashi. Then, a bit of full court pressure and back to back turnovers coming from Vic Law in the backcourt. Just not taking care of the basketball. Hiroshima don't want to commit any fouls. We take a gamble again. Don't foul here. Don't send Chiba to the free throw line. But Chiba needs to be patient. And Suji, again, just putting smothering defense. Got to be careful here. 10 on the shot clock. Back to Togashi. Togashi penetrates all the way. And the tip in. And that's been the story of the night. Offensive rebounds really have cost Hiroshima Dragonflies. And Isaiah Murphy hits the ground. Hopefully he's okay. One forty-one to go, trailing by 10 points. Continue to look very unlikely, but they must believe in themselves. If you are Hiroshima, you gotta think about going for a three-pointer now. So they've advanced the ball here, which means they're only gonna get a 14 on the shot clock. Gotta be quick here. Black shit now, pump fakes. Makes a penetration all the way, goes up, no foul cold. Evans can't get the tip in. He goes out of bounds, that's gonna be the Hiroshima Bull. Well, look at the penetration here by Kerry Black shit. Interesting, to me. that looks like a foul, but he pulled that one a good block of John Moody. That one's going to be called against. Shoot to Harris. It's going to be two free throws. Curry Blackshear, not bad here because now they get to put points on the board without taking any time off. Last year, 15 points, two rebounds, four assists so far this evening. Hiroshima, 14 for 20 from the free throw line. Last year's just got to make these ones.
Makes the first one. Nine point deficit, 127. Marshman fans anxiously looking. I wonder if Nick Milling is saying to Alexia to deliberately miss this one to try and get the offensive rebounds. Or maybe to get into defense. Well, oh, no, a technical foul was called actually. Sorry. So no foul. It was a technical foul, which is interesting. We gotta get the ball inbound. Finds Blackshear under the basket. Now it's a seven point ball game. And Hiroshima still with a bit of a chance here. They don't want to foul. Get this one inbound, but they find Smith. We got numbers under the basket. And there's already a foul. It's going to be John Moody go to the free throw line. They tried to put the full court pressure, but they left themselves exposed in the backcourt. One twelve, and Milling infuriated with his players. Makes them both back to a nine point ball game. 112. Dragonflies have to be quick here. No time to waste. You gotta get something quick. Mismatch. Black Sheep goes up. Back for well. Touch the backboard. It's gonna count. So that will count because Moody touched the backboard. Back to a seven ball. No, excuse me. Gavin Edwards did. So Edwards went for the block. Touched the backboard in the end. That's why the two points will count. Almost turn it over. Trying to go for the double team. They get over the break the press. Chiba gets a bucket here. It's gonna be good night. Rashmi gotta hope for a stop. Then they gotta get a quick bucket down the other end. Seven point deficit. There's a gamble. Tagashi all the way. Baseline turns it over. Now, Dragonflies, they gotta counterattack quick. As the penetration goes all the way, lays it up. Now it's a five-point ball game. The foul has been committed, so Tsugashi will go to the free throw line. Well, Yuki's just got to step up and make these free throws and call the game. Remember, they've led by as many as 17 points here in the fourth quarter. Hiroshima have given everything to try and battle back, but it just hasn't been enough. And just getting a free throw to rattle in. Chiba just want to get over the final hurdle. Probably exhausted of seeing Hiroshima battle back. Missed the free throw. Six point ball game. They got to be quick. They got to go for a three pointer. Evans wide open. There's a three. It's up. No good. And they couldn't even get a wide open look. Ladies and gentlemen, Chiba Jets are going to win the quarterfinal series. They're going to close this one out after a hard-fought series, losing game one by two points, battling back in game two, winning emphatically. Congratulations to the Chiba Jets. They win this game 96-91. They'll go on to the semifinals to play either Shimane Susanna Magic or Alvac Tokyo. This is the 2022-23 B-League playoffs. John Patrick, his return to Japan, remember his last time coaching was in 2006 with Alvac Tokyo, and he may very well go up against his old team. A dream return, what a season, setting a record for 24 consecutive victories here in the B-League, and a championship still on the horizon.
What was a hard fought series. And the home crowd showing their respects to the Hiroshima Dragonflies. Just showing their respect and chanting their name. But it's all over here. Well, it was an exciting game. The difference was in the first half. Hiroshima winning the second half. You look at it, they won the third quarter 29 to 24. And they won the fourth quarter. It was the 11-point deficit in the first half that got Chiba Jets over the final hurdle. We're going to hear from the game's MVPs. Dragonflies applaud their fans. What a game it was in the end. それでは見事勝利。パトリックヘッドコーチにひと言お伺います。今年はまでお願いいたします。非常にタフな3日間となりましたが、見事セミファイナル進出を決めました。今日のゲーム振り返っていただけますか。そうですね。あの第一戦あ
で大きな佐久間コールが起こってますが今日のゲームいかがでしたかいやー本当にこんな最高のブースターさんがいるあのチームをこのシリーズで絶対終わらせたくなくて頑張りましたあの第4クォーター本当にジェッツに流れを持ってくるバスケットカウントそしてスリーポイントありましたが、えー、そのあと吠えている表情もあったと思うんですが今日もだいぶ気合が入っていたということでしょうその前にちょっとビビってスリー打たなくてボードに当たっちゃったんでちょっと。ちょっと強気でいかないとと思って、はい、試合中にしっかり修正もできるというところが素晴らしいと思います、はい、そして前半のブロックショットも見事だったと思うんですがやっぱ拓磨選手のエナジーというのがこうチームをセミファイナルに導いた部分もあったかと思いますがそのあたりはいかがでしょうかいや本当に全員がコミュニケーションを取って全員で練習してるんでたまたま僕だっただけであのこれをもっともっと続けていきたいと思いますはい、えー、それではもう今週末セミファイナルですがまだ若干チケットが残っているということで拓磨、えー、選手からブースターの皆さんにワンプッシュをお願いできますかいや本当に皆さんのご声援が僕らのもうディフェンスの足を動かしますしシュート確率も上がると思うのでぜひチケットを取ってくださいお願いしますありがとうございます、えー、ジャンバクッション2人目は佐藤拓磨選手でしたそれでは拓磨選手にはジャンバクッションにサインを入れていただきますこちら抽選となります、ね、当選者、今、ビジョンにて発表しておりますので、ご確認ください。まあ、サインがかかりまし,たありがとうございまし佐藤さんはありがとうございます。佐藤さんはありがとうございます。佐藤さんはありがとうございます。佐藤さんはありがとうございます。佐藤さんはありがとうございます。佐藤さんはありがタクマサト said, I didn't want to end our season like this, so I just fought as hard as I can. I can't believe that there are some parts left for the quarterfinal. Let's go and buy it because we will definitely be our support. We're going to show you some highlights here from the final game and some stats to top this one up. But what a performance it was from the Chiba Jets, who will leave this the 2021 B League champions after a great season, looking to bring back another title here to the Funabashi Arena. Well, here are the highlights from the game from start to end. It was exciting stuff. Chiba Jets coming out like a house on fire from the perimeter. Giving themselves a five-point victory. Five-point lead, excuse me, at the end of the first quarter. Kerry Blackshear Jr. leading the way for the Hiroshima Dragonflies. Well, that was a big three-pointer by Kerry Blackshear. But Mooney, of course, phenomenal shooting game from his standards. Leading the way here for the Jets in and out of the paint and on the perimeter. Dragonflies getting to the basket, making things happen, of course. Well, there was the key play, the kick out. Sakuma Sato, good shooting night from his standards, making it rain from downtown.
We kind of thought that was going to be the way this game was dictated, but second quarter really just went in favor. The nutmeg pass coming from Yuki Togashi. Throwing it down by John Mooney. Well, the problem is there's way too many wide open looks on the perimeter. I mean, there you can see too much separation between Mooney and Nick Mayo. And even though this was a tough three-pointer, that kind of dictated how Hiroshima's offense was going in this game. Really having to work hard for every single bucket. And look at the block shot there by Takuma Sato. Mooney also showing good rim protection for the Jets. And there was the deja vu step back three pointer by Christopher Smith. Well, Mooney getting the dish off there by Smith and just throwing it down with two hands. Way too easy for the Jets. Terashima lighting it up in the third quarter, keeping Hiroshima in this game. Remember, they brought it back to one point. And almost at some point had moments to take over the game, but they just couldn't get over that final hurdle. And that was the M1 that made it a one-point ball game by Dwayne Evans. And the deep three fired by Vic Law. Again, Terashima having a good third quarter. Making things happen. Just good ball movement. Seafunio he nailed the three-pointer. Second half highlights, Sagashi with a beautiful dime find, and John Mooney one more time, giving a two-handed flush right on the backcourt here against Hiroshima Dragonflies, but Takuma Sato bullying his way to the basket. Somebody call the principal. We got a bully on the floor. And Sato again, left wide open, just punishes Hiroshima. Well, that was the end of the game. Hiroshima unable to come up with a victory and progress to the next round. They will take on, this will be the Chiba Jets, Alvok Tokyo. Jets winning this one 96 to 91, 17 for 30 for inside the rainbow. And 15 three points. The three point shooting was the difference. 17 free throws for that matter as well. And you look at that, six missed free throws was the difference. You make all six of those free throws, and that's it. You win this game. And that's something that will haunt Hiroshima Dragonflies probably for the entire summer.
Well, the B-League Championship will take place in Yokohama this year. Mooney finishing with 24 points. What a performance it was from him in the end. Leading the way for the Chiba Jets. Dwayne Evans, what a season it's been for him for this man. Really leading the way. 26 points here this evening. And no doubt we'll see him again next year for the Dragonflies. Chiba progress on to the next round. There's your head-to-head. -head. Twenty points in the end for Kerry Blackshear Jr. What a year it's been for him in his rookie season in the Japanese B League. And the last season playing in Turkey in Galatasaray. Well, Alvac Tokyo, it'll be interesting to see how they go up as it stands. Kawasaki Brave Thunders, their season's over. Rinku Golden Kings sweeping their series. So we have two sweeps already. And now Alvac Tokyo against Shimane Susanna Magic. That will be the decider for who plays against Chiba Jets. Well, this is B-League Basketball. And again, what a series it's been between these two teams. The fans will go home tonight. It will be Ayasumi Nasai. Good night to all the fans here in Japan. What a series it was. Many would have thought Chiba were going to come in here, sweep it. But Hiroshima winning the game one, the decider, was enough to take this to a final game. Game three were the two words here tonight. It's all over here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We thank you for joining us. Live B-League Basketball. More playoffs to come next weekend. Semifinals. And then the finals that will be hosted in Yokohama. B-League Basketball. Sayonara. I ask Amina Sai. Goodbye.